This is Joan Burney with the, the third most common problem we've had over 30 years of, of running the agony page in the Daily Record. Children. Now, children are a blessing and a joy, as we all know. But there comes a time, earlier and earlier, uh, now around 13, when your child stops being your child and becomes a young person. They become, that dreaded word, a teenager. And they drive their parents nuts. The loving little girl, the affectionate little boy, becomes a surly, uncommunicative lout who talks in uh, monosyllables if they talk at all, who has to be reminded to tidy the room, clean their hair, all the sorts of things which uh, you can just about cope with. But then there's also the other problems, which are sex and drugs and drink. A parent has to talk about sex and drugs and drink with their child long before they get to the teenage stage. There's no point when they reach puberty suddenly raising these issues. These issues have to be raised beforehand so that your child knows what you do think and don't think is acceptable in that area. It's not something you lecture about them either. It's, children don't want to talk to their parents. They say, oh yeah, yeah, I know it all. But you have to try to say, look, I want to talk to you about this. I want to tell you what I think. I want to tell you why I think it. But that has to be done long before they reach the age of 13 or you'll get nowhere. But say you didn't do it. Say they're staying up all night. They're, uh, they are drinking. You suspect they are smoking hash or even cigarettes, which as we know are equally lethal. What do you do? Well, you don't bury your head in the sand about it. You talk about them. You ask them why they're doing this. You, you, you explain again, although I do think it's probably a bit too late by 13, why it's not acceptable behaviour, that what are the dangers of, of this. There are, there are um, agencies we can help you. There's Parent Line Scotland, which you can always look up uh, when you're about to tear your hair out. It's difficult being a parent. It's become much more difficult since I was a parent. We know it is. Sometimes we do need a bit more help. But... Don't panic. Keep the head. Most kids will come out of it as reasonable young adults. They do need some barriers. They do need some... Um, they, they need to know the rules. They need to know what is acceptable and what isn't acceptable to you. That doesn't mean to say they'll keep to them. But they need to know what you think they should be doing. Most of all, they need to think that you care about them, even though they're telling you they hate you and slamming the door. They want you to love them. And parents have a responsibility to let their children know that they're loved and cared for, even when the parent can't stand the child. The love has to come through. Parents, it is a difficult job, but it's much more difficult being uh, a teenager, actually, in this very complicated age of ours. And parents have their own concerns. And sometimes I think it seems to me that, that parents get so wrapped up in their own um, affairs that they forget about what's happening to their kids. So don't just tip them out the door and think it's uh, somebody else's problem. They're your problem. You have to deal with it. But also set up your priorities. What do you care about most? Obviously, you don't want them to be drinking. You don't want them to be taking drugs. You don't want them to have underage sex. Concentrate a bit on that. I don't worry about a room. I don't think it's necessary to go into a teenager's room at all to tidy up. Go in by all means to find out uh, what, they're, what they're getting up to. But um, have a sniff around, as it were. But certainly don't bother tidying up. They've got dirty clothes. That's their problem, not yours. The other thing I would also mention is the Internet. There are huge dangers of the Internet. Parents must be computer aware. If you've got home computer... You must find out what your child is accessing on that computer. It's not that difficult to find out. I think uh, the computer is best left somewhere where you can keep an eye on what's happening. That would uh, be in the family room. Now, I know most kids want it up in their bedroom. Well, that perhaps is all right. But I would say you only let have your computer in you if you let me have your password. Now, of course, they'll rail and rant and scream but sometimes you just have to stand there and take it. That's one of the rules. You have your computer, you have it in your room, but I know what you're doing. And you go on. I mean, you, uh, children are naive. They, um, they say they know it all, but actually they don't. Uh, you as a parent do know some of it. You don't know it all either, but you know some of it. And you've got to try to impart some of that knowledge, some of that care into your children.